hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay and this is Life with Lindsay. Today we have an unboxing. Um, before we get into this, if you are new, hi, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I do mainly diamond painting content and some other crafting related content and I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit the bell, hop aboard the Hot Mess Express, let's be friends. Have you been here before? Hi, welcome. Thanks for coming back. Um, so the grand mystery question is, Lindsay, what are you unboxing? And the answer is, I have no idea. Um, this showed up on my doorstep the other day, and I have not purchased a diamond painting that would come to me from a Chinese facility. Um, honestly, like, the, only, the last diamond painting I ordered, like, I just placed the order, and this arrived after that, so I have no idea what this is. Uh, so we're gonna open it together, and hopefully find out. And it does have my name on it and everything. So, you know, I know it's not like, oh, this is sent to the wrong person. Um, there's no indication. It just shows me that it's from a sorting facility. Um, and it's in that like trash bag material. And, uh, so let's open it together and see what it is. I'm trying not to cut myself. Let's see. I'm really excited, but I'm also a little bit like, hmm, who done it? Not who done it. Wait, okay, well, this is definitely not helping. Um, if this isn't a diamond painting, I'm going to be completely shocked because of, like, the size of the box. Uh, and it's in that trash bag material, which is typically what you see when you order from a company that either drop ships or... What the heck is this? Star or... Wait a minute. Hold on try this again so um this diamond painting came from star or so i'm not sure what this one is unless there's two of the same thing there can't be these are two different size boxes what is going on here guys um and they came very different times i've just been sitting on this waiting for a time to film um so i guess we're gonna just unbox both of these and see what's up uh okay this might seem a little disjointed because I am completely dumbfounded right now. But in the meantime, I hope that everybody is doing well. Hope that you are having a lovely whatever time of day it is, wherever you are. All right. So they're definitely both from Star War. Um, let's see. So if I remember correctly, and I don't have the information in front of me because I wasn't expecting this box to say Star War on it. Uh... Because they definitely sent me the wrong kit. So I'm going to reach out to them and see what they would like about this. Because I did not order this. Um, and I don't want to unbox this. Um, this is uh, American Indian by Joseph Klopak. Klopak? Um, so I'm going to seal this one back up. I'm very, very confused. So I'm going to shoot them an email. Uh, if I get any kind of resolution, I'll put it in the description box. Um, but let's unbox what I assume is the one that's supposed to be coming to me. All right. Yes, this is correct. Okay, let me move my scissors. Whew. All right. So I have never purchased from Star Wars before. Um, are you laughing at me? <laughs> And they already screwed up. Yeah, well, this is my first purchase. So, uh, this is the box that it came in. Um, I'm a little bit confused as to why, like, when that other one came in the mail, I didn't open it because I had something on my desk and I, I just didn't have time for it. No big deal. I was like, I'll get back to it. Um, but I had gotten an alert that it was delivered. So, I had no reason to assume it was anything else. Um, so the one I did order is Under the Spell of Dreams by Ran. It is a full drill, 50 by 65, and she is a round. This is from their one of their newer collections. Um, they do legally license their artwork. I know that in the past there have been um, different conversations that have happened. Um, wow. Okay, so this is the DMC... All right, let's start at the beginning. Lindsay, pretend like you've done this before. Um, here is what I assume is your get started pamphlet. Yep. Interesting. It tells you how to do everything. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and then, is this a sticker? It's a sticker that they put on here. 
So I don't know if there's another one. I'll find out. But it looks like I have a total of 29 colors. I don't believe there's any ABs. But here's... Are they all? No, they're not all alphanumeric. There are some symbols. So let's see. As I mentioned, this is my first... Whoa! Oh, God. Woo! <laughs> this, this is going everywhere. I was going to say, this is going so well. Better than so, <laughs> I can't. That's my husband, if you guys didn't know. So, this is the toolkit. Let's check it out, because we haven't done this. Um, I have a glittery pen with a squishy. Um, I have... Ooh, wow. All right. Nice toolkit so far. I have a straightener, a seven, a four... A blue pat of wax. Sharp tweezers. Nope, dull tweezers. These are for the rounded kits. Let's not... A white tray. Wow. And a nice bag of baggies. And it all comes in a zipper bag. So that's pretty nice. Um, I will say, I haven't seen anyone talk about Star War in probably a couple years. Um... So, if you guys have purchased from them recently, let me know down below. But here are my drills. We will get into those in a moment. Here is the canvas. It is a poured glue canvas. Again, she is called Under the Spell of Dreams. Um, and it does say at the top, licensed from RAN. Okay. Well, there are stickers. Oh, my God, you guys. There are stickers. Nope. Wow. Okay. These are release papers. I have to sneeze. This might be one of the most hot that <laughs> So my husband is literally sitting over there just staring at me. So this came with a box of, a box, a pack of. <laughs> see what happens next. <laughs> this is a, a pack of release papers. I'm not going to lie. I've never purchased release papers. I just use like a cover from an old diamond painting or um, parchment squares. But these literally have the grossest texture to them. So I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> So I was trying to roll this the other way because it is poured glue. You're wearing these, you know, <sighs> Oh my god. But those all came flying out from my canvas, so I couldn't really do that. So I will say, um, right off the bat, this is the smallest. <laughs> oh my god. This is the smallest legend I have ever seen. I've ever done in my life. Oh my god. Okay, so um, it's branded here at the top. You guys can see it says Star or Diamond Painting, and then you can see how tiny that legend is. I mean, oh my god. And then it has their motto, and that who it's licensed from across the top. Oh my god. And then it tells you that the drill area is 45 by 60. And the fabric is 50 by 65. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is a soft lint cover. Oh. It is seared and scalloped edges. Um, there's a DMC checklist, which I have never seen. Um, this, by the way, significantly bigger than the actual legend itself. <laughs> I mean, this 
should have been an indication. Oh my god, I have a cramp in my side. <sighs> you mean it's not going to No. Oh my god. Oh, I might have to stop though for a minute. I'm like... <sighs> to put this into perspective, this sheet of paper is an inch longer than the actual legend on the diamond painting. We can do this. I am a professional. <laughs> I am not a professional. If you guys were expecting some super professional unboxing, this is not it. And I apologize. But in all honesty, this is pretty much what you expected. I will say, um, the symbol quality is insanely clear. Like, look at all of that. They have light lettering on dark backgrounds. Um, even the... Lighter colors on a light background are easy to see. Um, I'm really impressed with that. Uh, the image from a distance looks nice. Her eyeballs up close, like they're going to have very little definition, but we're going to keep going. So here is, if you guys didn't know, I love Alice in Wonderland. I love Alice in Wonderland. So you can see her here in her blue dress. Oh God, I'm like cramping on the side from laughing. There's the white rabbit. Um... And the creepy Cheshire cat down here with the mushrooms. Oh my goodness. Um, so this said the drill area was 45 by 60. Let's see if that's true. Um, it's actually bigger than that. It's 46 and a half. <sighs> oh my God. This is by far the messiest diamond painting unboxing I've ever done in my life. And this is... 62 and a half so it's definitely bigger than they're saying it is uh which is fine um but do keep in mind that the fabric size and the actual diamond painting area are different here's the thumbnail which in all honesty since i can see how little the legend is the thumbnail being that tiny and blurry is not surprising um oh god Let's check the sticky oh it is wow it is Wow, insanely sticky. Um, you guys, let's check out the drills. I am... Okay. Yes. Oh my god, you guys. Is it important that the legend be bigger? Yes. I'm just asking questions people may ask. Alright, I'm going to pause to stretch and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to try to get through this quickly. Here are my drills. Um, they have... On the legend, you see the C2USDA. It is on all of the drills here. So if you want to keep your drills separate, you can. Um, they are all numbered by DMC. Uh, sorry for the crinkling. I'm going to try to move quickly here. Oh, Holy moly, you guys. I am so confused by this. <laughs> uh, okay, so... As I mentioned, this is a round drill canvas. Um, I'm looking in here, and I don't see any obvious imperfections. Um, it is a little strange to me because here is DMC 3, 310, and then it goes into the other colors. Cool, cool, cool. But then there's one, two, three, four more 310 down here. Um... So they are, it looks like, in DMC order. Uh, again, no ABs, which is totally fine. Um, just checking out these colors here. I have a feeling her skin tone is going to be very grayish. Uh, 738, I'm assuming that's her skin. Um, Alright, just checking out the colors. I'm not going to go through them too in depth. But yeah, then there's... This here, which is 745 and 748, which I already had. So, it looks like some of them were just printed at the end, maybe? I'm not really sure. Let's turn her over one more time. Um, oh, God, the symbol. The dot. 945. So, 945. So, this is actually going to be her skin tone. It is much tanner in camera than it is in person in person it's much more on a, the pink side so um if this seems super 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 
confusing and disjointed. Trust me, on my end it is as well. Um, I'm going to pack those back up and keep track. Um, I'm a little bewildered by the fact that they put the legend, like the sticker, on something that I, like, I can't cut this out and put it onto my sticker containers. Uh, and I would have to actually, like, cut this out and put it through my Xyron in order to utilize this for my drill containers. That's something I'm not super loving. Uh, the rendering of this is is pretty nice for this size. Uh, we'll see how it translates. I'm not 100% sure. There is a lot. This All of this dark is all 310. There's a lot of 310. But it's definitely a softer rendering style. Like, there's no harsh lines on her arms or around the White Rabbit. So if you're into, like, that more watercolor kind of um, rendering, this might be something for you. Again, it is legally licensed. I do want to say one last time, excuse me, um, now that I've kind of gathered myself. Um, they did not contact me to let me know that there was any sort of issue um, or that they were sending something else or anything like that. Um, yeah, I guess I should have opened the one I got when I got it. And I'll put the dates on the screen here, um, when I ordered and when I got it. If I can find that, I think I can. Um, this showed up the other day. I have somebody who sent me a diamond painting, um, for something in the future. And I said, is it possible that your diamond painting was delivered to me? And they said, I don't think so. And that diamond painting is still in China. So this, I knew that this wasn't that. Uh, so this was quite my surprise to see this. When I opened it, uh, <clears throat> I'm very happy that this is what that was. I'm just a little confused as to why I got the other one that I did not order. This is the only one that I ordered. Um, so let me know down below if you have ever ordered from Star Ore. And if you have, what your experience was like. Um, I'm going to collect myself. And I'm going to reach out to Star Ore and see what they'd like me to do with that other one that they sent me. Um, my guess is they're probably not going to want me to return it to them because the cost to ship it is probably more than the value, um, honestly. But um, that's it, I guess. That's all I got for you guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Uh, I do apologize. This went 1,000% off the rails. But if you've been around long enough, you probably wouldn't expect anything less. Um, but that's it. That's all I got for you guys. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content like this or... You know, nothing at all like this. Uh, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. Yay. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time. And I record when my tiny human is sleeping or sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Bye.